Now what I'd like to do is for everyone in this building. No, wait, wait a second, let me clarify that. What I demand is that every single one of you no good people the shit stand at your feet, open your eyes as you grace the presence of the baddest damn son of a bitch that never set foot inside of a wrestling ring. I am more powerful than every man inside of this building. I like the difference. I'm more intelligent than every single piece of shit in this crowd. Can you stand? I am the man who just two years ago single-handedly killed the WCWF. Hey, that's fighting words. <laughs> and I am the man who just last night treated your mother like the two dollar Vietnamese whore that she is, and when I was finished with her, I kicked that bitch back to the streets where she belongs. I am Adam. Now, for all you unintelligent hillbillies that are in the audience tonight, I got a little story to tell. You see, a long time ago, in a garage. Not too far away, six boys set out to start a wrestling federation. Bruce Van Chan, Tony Magnum, Nazareth, Nightmare, Frankie Big Ball, and yours truly, Adam Raw. So we did some shows and we got pretty big. We were on the news, we were featured in the newspaper and all this other stuff. But see, after a while, there was a problem. The WCWF lost its stride for excellence. Unlike me, I wanted to do something with my abilities. So I went out and I became a big time professional. But the other guys just sat back and they were content with being no good pieces of shit. Just like every single piece of shit in this audience tonight. All of you people are useless. Look at you people, you make me sick. What about that? Your problem. Look at you. If you're twice you so half as bad as his breath, I might find you cute. <laughs> and you, you fat piece of shit, somebody needs to cut your balls off before you get the chance to contaminate this and earth anymore by having fat nasty children. You're all scum. Hell, look, you're not even scum. You're that funky shit that goes between the toes of old men. <laughs> The WCWF became dull, so I killed it. And without the WCWF, all of those guys' lives became nothing. They rotted. Some of them became slaves to their jobs. Some of them became slaves to slutty whores. And all the while, I sat back and laughed myself to the bank. And then some time passed. They got the new owner and management by the name of John E. Burton. And together they built back everything I took to destroy. So they practiced up and they thought tonight they were going to put on a show for you people. They thought they were going to put on some wrestling matches for all you hillbillies. Some wrestling matches. Wrestling man. Well, I've only got one thing to tell all you, and that is that if you think I'm going to stand by and watch this degrading shit happen again, you're all as stupid as you look, which is pretty damn dumb. So from right now on, this show is over. I'm ending it. You can all go home. Go out. Get in your automobiles that have to use your mommies and daddies, but turn the ignition, press on the gas, and hit the goddamn road because it's over. I don't care how far you go. Jefferson County, South County, Monroe County, or Dale County. Get out!
drought here. Of all the people. Shut the fuck up! You're out here screaming all the things you've done. These people don't give a damn what you've accomplished. It means shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're out here and you say you want to destroy the WCWF. From the looks of it, on each and every one of these people's faces, it's alive and well, and there's no way you're going to take away this. <laughs> what it boils down to, is your pain, your past, is nothing more than a fluke. You want to hear about a past? The past two years, I've lied awake in the asylum. And when you're alone in solitude, you start to think some uh, pretty crazy stuff. Now, as I ripped the head off of a rat just so I could eat, <laughs> and I pulled the guts out, Flung it on the ground and stared at the blood. That's the best part! I realized my destiny. <laughs> this whole thing and the belt is my destiny. That means I have to go for you considering you had the number one contendership. I don't have a problem with that. Because I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get that belt. I got your belt. Tonight, I come to you for the number one contendership. <laughs> You know, Nightmare, as much as I'd like to come down that ramp right now and rip those beady eyes out of your skull, that's not what I'm here for. I told you I'm in this stuff tonight. It's over, you guys need to go. Oh, I could beat the hell out of you if I wanted to. But no, 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 no. I'm not the number one contender. I'm not. I'm just here to tell these freaks to go home. There is no matches tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving me excuses. You're telling me that you're not going to fight me. Well, hell, you're a professional. You've been down that road and back so many damn times, it's damn near fair. A fight with me should be just a walk in the park for you, Adam Wrong. Now, are you chicken shit? <laughs> Put your contendership on the line. <laughs> you people don't really think you can beat me, do you? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> well, that did I tell you what? If you got the guts to meet me in the center of this ring tonight, I'll put that number one contendership on the line, and I'm gonna leave you a bloody, witchy, butchy, slaughtered mess because you just fucked with the wrong man. That's all I want. Now, when you walk through that curtain, right before your music plays, and you stomp your ass out here, I want you to do one thing. Close your eyes for the last time. Take a deep breath. Because it's the last one you will ever have. And then, go through that little twist of mind of yours, and I want you to realize we're about to go on one hell of a ride. You will have hell to pay. All right, first match is getting started. Introducing first the referee for this match, Justin Bunty.
the rep is slow. That was a 2.7. Frankie okay. Big Balls was clear. Well, the count of auto meter, as you can see on our count of meter. I have to disagree. It's a 3.2. Uh, uh, oh, here come the chops. The half Mongolian chops. Kim 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 Picks them up, lays tights. They weren't supposed to be tights, but when he put them on, that's how it turned out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to pin them. Too bad he's strutting his stuff for the rest. by the Magnum's groin, so he still had to get his shoulder off the mat. And to the ropes. On the other side comes Adam. What's he doing? Oh, 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 Greg. The Magnum's I'm telling you, Frank's got to be running out of steam. Oh, Big Ball seemed to be in pain. It's over. He's holding his back. He's had that injury before. If anybody uh, can take And this could be a repeat. Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens. Frankie Big Ball is going to win. He's going to have to cheat. Give him a touch to the face. And Big Ball is still a little weird. Oh, this is the best. Oh, counter by Big Ball. Oh, and a back elbow. Oh, Big Ball is on top again in the position the ref would like to be. Puts him in the 548. I mean the thing in the jig that I don't know the name of her. Oh, you got some in the shark shooter. Yeah, the shark shooter. I think you can call it too. Or you can to the face. Oh, flips him over his shoulder. I'd say the Magnum fight's a little dirty. Oh, I think he's just being smart about the match. Rap, there's the money shot you want. Magnum sends big balls up. 357 Magnum. Focus, Rap. The Magnum being cut. Going to the outside. Is he going for the top? Just want to say a couple words. Our country's been through a lot in this past six months, and right here, right now in this garage, we're setting, setting another precedent. And that's that I see more worthless people here than I did in the World Trade Center on September 11th. Oh, you know what? I wish 
that saw crazy muscles were getting a plane right now and flying into this garage. The only problem is I can see all you guys in a little while anyway. See, I don't discriminate against anybody. I just like muscles because they kill themselves in the process. But anyway, I think you'd be on the burden up for me. Yeah. Now I'm going to introduce somebody, the winner of the last match. I'm going to have a few words with him, see what he has to say. The 357 Mega, come on out. So about how many hours a day would you say that you spend in a gym? I get about the amount of time in the gym as most of these people doing a donut shop. <laughs> well, on the flip side... On the flip side to that, your opponent, he didn't look like he had much stamina. Spins in a gym. Uh, if by gym you mean donut shop, probably 24 hours a day. <laughs> well, apparently since you beat Frankie Big Balls, you're coming up in the ranks of the WCWF. Who would you say if you could pick anyone back there? Who would you say you would like to wrestle next? Um, well, you know, first man champ, he seemed like a little punk. I'd like to pick him up. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, well, the goop for Bruce Van Oh yeah, that little ranch guy running around. Yeah, the goop. <laughs> anyway, looks like we have some people out here who are booing you tonight, some pretty big guys and stuff. <laughs> Do you think any of them? <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, whether or not any of these guys can take you out? Uh, oh my you know, God. I have my uh, body speed for that right now. <laughs> oh, no!
foot three. Don't think he's going to be able to handle this. Raw's got a lot of intensity. Already working his arm. Oh, short stuff is in real trouble. Come on, I'll rip your arm off. That is all, as I said. Come on, you midget. Put some more words. They're both up quick. They both have a lot more energy than Frankie Big Balls, that's for sure. Well, so everybody has more energy than Frankie Big Balls. Do they go to come at each other all right? Yes, we're on the main section. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, that's shot a hard job. That must be the main. There he goes. Behind his back. This is going to be a colossal match. All right, oh, 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 each other. Oh, under oh, oh, face right to the mat. It's about the only move that this uh, little guy can pull off. You know, I like Nightmare. I like Nightmare. What are you going to do now, Shorty? He scares me a little. Oh, you done now. It's Nightmare, but uh, he scares me a little. Oh. <laughs> What's he think he's doing? Here we go. Oh, he nice. thinks he's going to pick oh, up. No, oh, he can't pick up. up. He's too short. Oh!
gig. Come on, retarded rat. <laughs> Look at the ref shirt, it's off center in the back. He made it himself. Oh, yeah. nightmares coming up from behind. Something Preston Bundy likes to do. What's he doing now? I don't know what nightmare strategy is here, but he better pull something out of his ass. He's gonna have to cheat. He's gonna have to resort resort to dirty tricks. Oh, that looks painful. Good thing I'm not a wrestler. What's he doing now? Giving him CPR? Come on, you're supposed to be killing this guy, Nightmare. The crowd came here to see something. Not giving him a show. Oh! I'm surprised Nightmare had that in him. For a short guy, it's hard to jump that high. Pulling him out off the ropes. The ref is trying to remember where he is. Oh, he's putting him in some kind of submission move. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. I heard Nightmare's girlfriend puts him in the same move. Oh. No worries. Oh no, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm Can you hear me now? Giddy up. Oh, off the road, what was that? That was the acrobatics. That was a rolling headbutt. I can't believe I saw that. Oh, he's gonna give him a head. Oh, oh he's making his jokes. Oh, that was a surprise. I didn't know Nightmare was gay. Tell the one those people cares out of his teeth. Come on, Nightmare. This is disappointing. 357 Mega. I thought you were really the Put up a fight. Yeah, I'm back over there to make some calls. I'm back. All right. All right. Well, I'm here's some business. Since you're an expert on uniforms, what do you think of these? Uh, I'd say they're a little bit too much. You know, that's just going to get in the way. All that stuff, it's just baggage. <laughs> well, Nightmare looks like he has a lot of extra baggage. So what's your opinion, uh, 57 Mega? Uh, get inside a roll. He's obviously uh, a little bit out of shape. He's pretty small. Look at that off center shirt. All right. That's wrong. Nobody has seen that yet. Being late. Oh, right to the face. Now you get the job done. Come on, punch in that big nose. Get a little bit of the road. Adam Bell really doesn't have to get the road. Oh, my God. It was right on his throat, I think. Adam Bell doesn't need an outfit. He's got enough body hair to cover himself. And only a 2.2 on the counter meter. Oh, that's not very good. Two points up against the ropes. What's the deal with that about the Hey, uh, they don't do that kind of stuff. This is real. Into the ropes. Takes him down. Oh, God. God, it had to hurt. I heard the bright light. Oh, good job, retard. That's what we like to see. Just don't drool on the mat. That's all I ask. Okay. Those are, uh, those are big balls. Oh, big ball game. It's clear. He did the Starman move. It's clear. Get it all. I get a sword. That was it. Hey, that's cheap. Oh, I need to pick some up. Come on, crowd. You guys need to get there on this match. Obviously, we're on the Oh, 
arms. He gave him his arms. I haven't seen a slap like that since I got home at nine. And now there's a uh, 244 seconds on the condomometer. Good thing we have that high kick on. That condomometer always got him in a headlock. Always needs to run. The retard is eyeing him closely. <laughs> Just making sure he's breathing. <laughs>
Ismail. <laughs> Yeah. No. 